Hello. Have a nice day to all of you. You may remember my previous video. Where can you fly a drone without getting into trouble in Sri Lanka? I told you about the latest process to fly a drone legally in Sri Lanka. If there is anyone who could not watch the video, you can go to the channel and in the first comment of this video, I have put the link of that video. Well, in this video, I am trying to tell you how the process will take place until we receive the final approval from the Civil Aviation Authority after we forwarded the application to get the permission to fly the drone. In this video, I will tell you some simple ways to get approval. So watch the video from beginning to end. Well, after forwarding the application to the Civil Aviation Authority, the Civil Aviation Authority sends us a tracking ID. This tracking ID is very important for us to know what has happened to our application until we get the approval. Also, please remember that applications submitted after 4.15 p.m. on a Friday or before a public holiday will be sent to the Chief of Defense Staff's office after the office hours of the next working day. This is clearly mentioned on the Civil Aviation Authority website. If you apply at least three working days before, it will be easier for us and these organizations to provide this service. As soon as we receive the tracking ID I mentioned earlier, we send the submitted application to the Chief of Defense Staff's office to obtain further security clearance from the Civil Aviation Authority. This is where the most important process takes place. As soon as I receive the tracking ID I mentioned earlier, the Civil Aviation Authority will send the application we refer to the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff to obtain the security clearance. This is where the most important process takes place. Here, for the convenience of the administrative process and for security reasons, we get security clearances under two parts, high security zones and normal zones. We can get our clearance easily and quickly if the places we applied for are located in normal zones. But in the case of places located in high security zones, we will get this clearance only after obtaining the approval of the Ministry of Defense. Most of the time, the northern and eastern provinces, the economic hubs of the country, military bases and most of the places designated by the Ministry of Defense belong to these high security zones. When we submit an application to fly a drone, be especially careful about its purpose. We use these applications for various purposes. For example, for entertainment, for advertising, for agriculture, for aerial spraying, for training, live broadcasting things like for activities. You should mainly submit under mentioned documents while submitting applications for all these purposes. Number 1. Certificate of Insurance Relating to Drone Number 2. A photo of the drone operator's national ID or passport. Number 3. A responsible document obtained from the owner, from the administrative authority from the management or a responsible person stating that there is no objection regarding the flying of a drone at that site if the site we are applying for is owned by any party. Number 4. In a place like a main road where people hang out a lot, a permission letter obtained from the respective police station. Also, when applying for places belonging to high security zones, the place of flight should be mentioned precisely, so if it is a place that is difficult to name, it is enough to submit the GPS coordinates. If you complete these things and submit them, you can get the clearance very easily. I won't talk too much about general zones here, that's it. Because we can get it very easily and quickly. When going to get permission in the highly protected zones, some people get stuck. The reason for that is ignorance. As soon as our application is received by the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff, we will be notified by phone or email if there are any deficiencies. Or as soon as we get the tracking ID, we can call this phone number and check our clearance. Well, as I mentioned earlier, after submitting a complete application form, the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff, after obtaining an approval from the Ministry of Defense, will send us the security clearance letter by email. And it will be forwarded to the Civil Aviation Authority. After that, the Civil Aviation Authority will send us the payment link indicating the amount that we have to pay for this operation. 
After we make the related payment, we will receive the final approval regarding this. Well, now we have obtained the legal permission to fly a drone legally in Sri Lanka. In the clearance letter we receive, there is a series of instructions and process that we have to do until the end of this drone operation. The most important thing here is that for drone operations carried out under the approval of the Ministry of Defense, a military officer is deployed to supervise the operation until the end. We have to fly the drone under full supervision. Well, now we have the security clearance letter from the Office of the Chief of Defense Staff and the approval letter from the Civil Aviation Authority. All the measures that we should follow after we find both of these are mentioned in these letters so I am not going to talk about it here. I will tell you some important things about this. The maximum height that a drone can be flown for any purpose in Sri Lanka is 100 feet. If there is a need to fly higher than that, special permission must be obtained from the Civil Aviation Authority. Also, two hours before the commencement of each operation. The Sri Lanka Air Force Headquarters main operations room should be informed, the phone numbers of those locations are mentioned in the clearance letter. Well, I think now you will be able to send a drone in Sri Lanka without getting into trouble. Thank you very much to all of you who have watched the video. I hope to tell you in my next video that many people will not know about this drone, but there are a few important things that everyone who wants to get hold of a drone should know. If there is anything else you think you need to know more about this, send your problem to this Gmail. So guys, keep watching these important videos by subscribing us and clicking the bell icon and stay tuned with Tambapani YouTube channel. Good day to you all, thank you.